Hello everybody, how are you? Hello everybody, how are you? It is time to start our day. It is time to work and play. Hello everybody, how are you? Hi everyone, welcome back. It is Friday and today we are gonna continue talking about the continent of Africa. We learned a lot about it on Wednesday when we met together. Today we're gonna to look at one part of Africa and hear a fun story and try an activity together. But first, let's go ahead and sing our continent song. See how well you remember it, you ready? North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa. Don't forget Australia. Don't forget Antarctica. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa. So we are talking about this beautiful land called Africa. And the other day we saw some homes from it. We saw some animals had made our binoculars and went on a little safari to see the different animals that are there and heard a little bit more about the continent. Well, one thing we didn't look at when we were there is where those homes were from. I showed you pictures of homes from Nigeria and from Kenya. Now this continent is broken up into pieces, into parts, like a puzzle. They all go together and it has different countries within it. So let's take a quick peek at some of the countries we talked about the other day, because today we're gonna to talk about a different one from inside this continent. Over here is the country of Kenya. And Kenya was where most of the houses that we looked at from our book the other day were from. That's over on this side by the Indian Ocean. Then if we go across the continent, right over to here, we find Nigeria, and that's where one of the other houses was that we looked at. And that is over here by the Atlantic Ocean. Remember how much water is around it? We looked at that as well. So today we're gonna to talk about another country in the continent of Africa, and it is called Botswana. And it's right there. It's not towards the bottom, isn't it? It's kind of in the middle of the bottom tip there. There are some things I want to show you. Again, this whole orange piece is the continent, including this island over here called Madagascar. Have any of you ever seen the movie Madagascar? That is the actual place that is Madagascar. This whole thing is the continent, and then it's got these little, like, like I said, like a little puzzle pieces that all fit together to make the countries. Well, this one that we're going to look at is this one right here, this little puzzle piece. And it looks like this. This is its shape. You can see it doesn't have straight edges and straight lines like we see often in puzzles, does it? It's got a little curve up here. It juts out over here, comes down over here. This is the land of Botswana. Now tell me what you see in that picture. I see a giraffe, lion, elephants, zebra. I see a round house, like one of the houses that we looked at the other day in our pictures. So that is some of the things that you might see in that land. Here is a safari truck like we went that we saw the picture of and pretended that we were going on our safari the other day. You might go on safari if you lived there. But the picture I really want to talk about is this one right here. These ladies are basket weaving. They are weaving baskets to carry things in and I'd like to read to you what it says right there. It says in northwestern Botswana the tribe members weave baskets that are sold all over the world as art, but the people in Botswana use them to store and carry their food. I have a story. This is a nonfiction book. This teaches us about Botswana. I have a fiction book, a story about a young girl, and look at what she is doing. She has a basket of fruit, and where is she carrying it? Is she holding it in her hands? No, she's carrying it on her head. If somebody were to hand me a basket of food, I would carry it in my hands but she's carrying it on her head and she's trying to do something. We're gonna read along with her and find out what's happening. This is called Handa's Surprise. Now, when I'm reading this, I'll be reading the words so you can listen, but I also really want you to use your sense of sight today and be really observant about what you see in the pictures. Take a second, I'll even hold the pages up a little bit longer than normal. I want you to pay attention to what's going on in each picture because it's gonna be important. You ready? Okay. Handa put seven delicious fruits in a basket for her friend, Akio. Let's see, can we tell what she has there? I see pineapple for sure, banana, I think that's a lemon, maybe a plum, maybe an orange, maybe a guava and a mango. We'll find out, I think, as we go along. But she put seven of them in there. Let's see what happens. She will be surprised, thought Handa, as she set off for Akio's village. 
So she's got the basket on her head. It's a very large basket. And if you can look closely, you can see it does have a little ring for it to stay on her head like a hat. That helps. She balances it and then she starts walking and now she doesn't need any hands as she walks along. I wonder which fruit she'll like best. Oh, start watching. Will she like the soft yellow banana? No, take a look. Is Akio gonna get the banana? I think somebody beat her to it. Or the sweet smelling guava? Who's taking the guava? Will she like the round, juicy orange? Keo's never gonna see that orange. Or the red, ripe mango? What happened to the mango, boys and girls? Will she like the spiky, leaved pineapple? I don't think she's gonna get to try it. Ooh, oh, it's an avocado. The creamy green avocado? Or the tangy purple passion fruit. That's what the purple one was. Is Akio going to get to eat the passion fruit? Uh-oh. Now watch these pictures. I'm running. He's being held by something. It breaks. He goes flying and his head bonks into the tree. And what happens when his head bonks into the tree? Let's look back at the last page for a second. She only had the one little, oops, I'm sorry, two pages ago. The last little fruit was taken, so her basket was empty. But then he bonks into the tree. The tree drops all those fruits in there. Which fruit will Akio like best? Hello, Akio, says Handa. I brought you a surprise. Tangerines, said Akio. My favorite fruit. Now, did Handa put any tangerines in there? Not a one, but that's all that's in the basket now. And look how full it is. She's got a lot more than seven in there now, doesn't she? Tangerines, said Handa. That is a surprise. The end. As we went through the story, let's see. Again, she started off with seven fruits in her basket, and she began walking along. And first, she went past a monkey, and he took one of the fruits. He took the banana. Then she went past an ostrich, and what happened then? There went the guava. The zebra took the orange, and you can see in each picture there's less and less fruit until finally at the end, she had no fruit left, but the tree that got bonked into dropped a bunch of fruit into her basket. So she thought Akio was gonna be a surprise, but it was really Handa that had the surprise. So here's what you can do today. I have a basket here, and in my basket, I have some fruits. I have a lemon, an orange, an apple, I have some grapes, a strawberry, and a banana. Now, I'm not gonna be walking through by any animals that might reach down and take this, but I wanna see if I can carry my basket on my head without dropping it. First off, before I even try to move, I wanna see if I can carry it. You ready? I'm gonna put it on my head. Let's see if I can even get it. I'm doing it, I'm balanced. I have my basket of fruit on my head. Now, let's see if I can move. I'm gonna to try to move sideways. You ready? Let's see if I can do it without dropping everything. Ooh, that way, now I'm going this way. I can do it. Can you do it too, boys and girls? Can you find a basket? Hey, look at that, it's even stained. Can you find a basket and maybe put some toy fruit, some plastic fruit in there and try to walk? See how many steps that you can walk before the basket falls. I can't believe my basket is staying on my head this long. All right, guys, that's your challenge for today. Find a basket, put some toy fruit in it, and challenge your brothers, your sisters, your grown-ups. See who can walk more steps. See who can walk further. Can you crawl on your knees with it on your head? Can you do that on your knees? What can you do with your basket? Let's see. Bye, boys and girls. I will see you next time. Have a good weekend, everybody.